When you were young, what was your inspiration to get into science? There's so much talk about science being a controversial discipline these days, getting more people to study science. What led you into a career in science? I would say I've had a few, a few periods when I've been inspired to go in science or s change direction slightly. Uh, first, uh, uh, in high school, uh, I was in those you know, relatively early years uh, post-Sputnik, and it was quite literally the uh, revolution in how physics was taught. Uh, I must say, it was an MIT-inspired course, uh, and, uh, and uh, that was in my senior year, and it just completely hooked me. And, uh, that's the entire story through my uh, uh, PhD and uh, much of my early career at MIT. But uh, in terms of uh, what I'm doing now, I must say that uh, again, M MIT uh, uh, is one of obviously the great great universities in our country. Uh, obviously, technology oriented, and there uh, it was the inspiration of some of the uh, physicists who had been through the, the war period and who felt that uh, uh, faculty at, M at MIT at least should really be part of uh, the public service. And so we got going into various um, study groups, et cetera, uh, that looked at uh, energy and security issues. And then eventually that led, I guess, to my wandering off to government a few times. Uh, but um, now I find it difficult to distinguish life at a university and in government. <laughs> Do you think that the climate challenge is sort of a Sputnik-like motivation for, for younger students to get into science? Absolutely. Uh, uh, first of all, it was uh, for me as well, uh, starting in the 90s uh, and uh, in my first go-round at, at, uh, at Department of Energy, and now uh, it's, a major, major, it's a major focus, of course, start, starting with the president and his, his commitment. But if I go back uh, to, the, uh, to the students, uh, I would refer to my period at MIT in the last decade in which we started something called the MIT Energy Initiative. And uh, the enthusiasm and the commitment of the students to want to put their science and technology and management and economic talents, uh, to, you know, to bring them to bear on this challenge, the climate challenge, uh, was really remarkable. Uh, similarly, uh, about 25% of the entire faculty uh, became engaged, and I think this encourages me in the sense that, in contrast to the uh, up and downs of interest that we've seen in the past with oil prices, uh, I think that the uh, the climate challenge is one that's going to continue to hold the attention of uh, of, of our talented uh, students.